loving God empowers for wealth. Some people think that God hates wealth because they are not spiritually informed. God, the owner of silver and gold, he said, the gold is mine and the silver is mine, said the Lord, cannot, could not have been a, an hater of wealth. God is the source of all wealth. Abraham, God's friend, was the most wealthy of his time. He was possessor of heaven and earth. And that was God's friend. God was so proud of Job, the greatest businessman of his days, and said to Satan, if you consider my servant Job, there is nobody like him or there. Ooh. God was celebrating the greatness of Job. God the great, the most high God, he will always celebrate the greatness of his children. God was proud of Job. Job the worthy was God's pride. So, God does not hate wealth. He creates wealth. He empowers for wealth. Now, if wealth were evil, he said, Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18, but thou shalt remember the Lord your God for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. God can give you power to get evil. So wealth is not evil. Wealth is divine. Wealth has a divine source. Glory to God. The silver is mine and the gold is mine. Say the Lord. And when you are in love, you are in God and God is in you. Because God is love. So whatever God does not lack, you are not permitted to lack. Amen. God is the source of all wealth. So when our love is perfected, we flow in supernatural wealth naturally. Somebody's blessed. Get ready for a change of story today. In the name of Jesus. Behind every star is a secret. In the business world, they call it trade secrets. Behind every star in the kingdom is access to divine secret. Access to what? It is divine secrets that make stars in the kingdom. Access to divine secrets. Access to divine secrets. The secret things belong unto God, but the ones that he reveals, the ones that we can access, they are the ones that belong to us. The secret things on divine health belongs to God. The secret things on divine prosperity belongs to God. The secret things on divine longevity belongs to God. Now, the ones we assess is the ones we can manifest. And every true lover has a covenant access to God's secrets. Every true lover. Abraham, the friend of God, says, can I do this thing without telling Abraham, my friend? So he revealed the secret to Abraham. Genesis chapter 18 and verse 17. To 20. I mean, to 19. I mean, uh, he revealed that secret to Abraham. In John 15, verse 15, I've not called you servants, but I've called you friends. For a servant doesn't know what his master does, but I've called you friends because all that I've heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So every true lover has uncheckered access to divine secrets. You can read the Bible from now till forever. If you are not a lover, there's a limit to which you can access. You can access information, you can access revelation, but not secret. The secret things belong to the lovers of God. Glory to God. Amen. March 24, 1984, I assessed the secret of supernatural church growth. I mean, I, I saw a crowd that others could not see. I saw them. <laughs> I mean, after three days only, I had the key in my hand. Now, my prayer today is that you will have this key in your hand. Yeah. March 22nd, 1982, I assessed the secret of kingdom 
prosperity on demand. Lord, show me the secret of kingdom prosperity. I didn't want the stories. I want the secrets. Show me the secrets of kingdom prosperity. And then the heaven opened on the third day. Whew. I went in on the 20th. I came out on the 20th. I called transformed, transfigured, translated. Tell you something. That's revelation for you. Revelation change. Revelation tears up a revolution. I came out of that room translated, transfigured, transformed. I say, yeah, I can never be poor. Now, please understand this. We must recognize masters in our various pursuits. Recognize what? They call them fathers in scriptures, but they're actually masters. People have mastered a particular area of the kingdom with proofs. It was acknowledgement of a master that brought me asset to, that gave me asset to the secret. I saw Copeland as a master of the mystery of prosperity. So I took his book and his wife's book and I went out. Man, somebody standing before you today it looks very short. But it's one of the masters of this subject. If you don't listen to him, you have a long way to go. This man found it from those who found it before him. And has applied it and it has worked. Come on. I don't even need to prepare to you again in this church. It's not necessary. The materials are there. I have 84 teachings on the road. Did you ever listen? He said, stand in the way and see and ask. Where is the good way? Where are in your father's throat? Who obtained the promises and walk there and Then shall find what? Rest for your souls. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16 and 17. So, so we must recognize masters in the kingdom. Young Cho is my master in church growth. I began to pursue and learn at his feet since 1985. Man, is the church not growing? Growing phenomenally. Kennedy again is my master in the school of faith. And he taught me well. And he's still teaching me from he's still teaching me my celebrated master in the school of faith. You, you must recognize masters. My prayer for you will change your story. It's your assessing the secrets that will change your story. It's your engaging the secrets that will change your story. It's your engaging the secrets that will change your story. From 82 till date, I have not needed to ask any mortal man for an aid. 82 till date, sir. This church has never called on anybody on phone, by email, by knocking on the door for any... We have never had a special caucus meeting in this ministry for any project. And we have done some dangerous projects here. Amen. The Center for Research and Innovation going on in Covenant University is your church funding it. That's one point something billion or something. It's actually done. You must enter into this realm now, sir. You, you have struggled enough. We don't struggle here. Find out why we don't struggle. We don't struggle, we don't sweat here to flow in supplies. Why are you struggling so hard? Because I'm not correctly aligned. Now, in the name of Jesus, whatever is blocking your eyes from seeing what God is showing you, I command it destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. The secret things belong to God and they are accessible by his lovers. They are accessible by those that fear him. He said the fear, he said, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. The fear of the Lord. Glory to God. You are not saying God as a usurper. God as a user. God as an oppressor. God as a robber. You are saying God as God with all awe and reverence. Talk about it. Amen. Then God said to me, my son David, my prosperity plan is not a promise. So it does not answer to prayers. That was on that 22nd of March, 1982. 
My prosperity plan is not a promise. It has no respect for fasting. My prosperity plan is a covenant. Until your part is played, I am not committed. What? I heard it from the mouth of Jehovah God, direct. When God speaks, it sticks. I can't quote it differently any day, any time, not even at 100 years of age. I heard it from the mouth of his majesty that I have a part to play in order to enjoy his prosperity plan. That I cannot get there by begging him. I can only get there by doing my part. I said, Lord, wait a minute. What is that covenant? He said, why the earth remained? Seed time and harvest shall not cease. What? How did I make this covenant? Except you can break my covenant of the day out of the night. Then you may now break this covenant. Jeremiah 33, verse 22 to 25. Amazing things. I screamed and yelled, yay! I can never be poor. Giving became a delight, became a way of life. I can help it. With joy and excitement, because that is the only way there. Someone said, I've been doing it, it's not working. You are not doing it right. You are doing it as a trade. God, this is one error. If I don't see 10 error tomorrow, believe me, you won't see me again. He said, go away far away to the forest. I don't need you for anything. You need me for everything. Who are you? Playing games with God. Trading with God. God has become your heavenly banker, not your heavenly father. He's my heavenly father. The secrets he shows me, they are for my benefits. Not for his benefits. I know it's not working. You are not operating according to the rules of the game. You are not operating according to the rules of the world. You need to get acquainted with it. This church is blessed and super blessed. This man is blessed and dangerously blessed. And, and the, the, the truth is, is, the same God will bless anybody else. Literate or illiterate. Educated or not educated. It will bless anybody as boys or girls, old or young, male or female. For it's no respecter of persons. God launches us into the realm of financial fortune on the platform of the covenant. We need to know that. You must know what to do to assess that realm and begin to do it. You must know what to do and begin to do it. That is how to get there. What we have been doing the last six weeks is to demonstrate our love for God by our love for souls. Glory to God. So that has created a platform for the covenant to deliver. Because love is the fundamental platform upon which every provision of scriptures delivers. Love is that fundamental platform upon which every provision of scriptures delivers. Job, the financially great, said, as it was in the days of my youth, when the secret of God was upon my tabernacles. Job 29 and verse 5. When the Almighty was yet with me, and when my children were about me, he said, when I washed my feet with butter, and the rock poured me out rivers of oil. Now, that is the secret of God, brought him into realms of fortunes. Brought him into the realm of fortunes. Divine secret brought him into the realm of fortunes. Divine secret. Now see, anybody can be expanding on divine secret. Only lovers can receive it. No. Only lovers of God can receive it. Any teacher can be expanding on it, doing great expositions on it. But only those that fear God can assess it. You can't say from now to tomorrow. You got, uh, I think they are playing on us. We have to be careful. They're asking us to pay tight. No, no, no. No, I mean, um, this is... I believe everything we do here, but tithing, no. No, 
Oh, I mean, I, I believe everything we do. You know, somebody could not even believe Holy Communion and is in this church. He is, the devil is a wicked devil. He just wanted to kill that sound. So he told the mother, don't take communion. No. If you take communion, you won't leave that church again. <laughs> All kinds of insinuations of hell. Even churches that don't have the Holy Spirit are taking communion day and night. What's your problem? I command every devil be clouding your spiritual understanding to give way. <laughs> Listen to this. Job assessed the realm of financial fortune by trading divine secrets. Say with me, trading divine secrets. That is putting divine secrets to work. Amen. That is applying yourself to divine secrets revealed to you. I mean, simple. Do you know what you are doing with all the flyers you are taking all over town? It was delivered to me in 1984. 19 what? Come and see. So we have printed, I will get the actual figure by next Sunday, the millions of trusts that we have printed. God told me, among three things, of bring a church, go tell them on the highway and the edges, come and see. And how do we do that? Put a testimony in there, what I'm doing here. And we have been trading that forever. How many believe that? One thing is to assess a secret, one thing is to drop it. We have been trading it forever. The number of people that are holding our flyers in this town, only God can tell us. The number of human beings. Some have five, some have six. <laughs> Amen. And we don't mind, we still give you more. We still give them more. There is no of you receiving. Receive another one now. <laughs> Amen. It's God's currency to reach out to the suffering humanity. So we are spending it lavishly. Can I hear your Amen. God showed me that secret 1984, March 24. Amen. Why are we praying the way we pray so hard? We pray so hard because we prayed into that secret. And to keep on reaping from that secret, we have to keep praying. Why am I studying so hard? It was part of the secret reveal that just make available fresh made and they won't stop gathering. Keep the grass green and they will lie down there. There are people in this church who are in Malaysia who are still active members of this church now. They are active. They are so active that some of them pay tight down here. Can I hear your amen? They are in this service now. They are in uh, some foreign countries around the world, but they are in this service now. They are in every service. They will be at the workers' meeting this coming Monday. They are there. They are there before you. Because they are not traveling, just on their system. They turn it on. While you are still jumping from Yanepaja uh, to somewhere, they have already sat there. <laughs> and they will lie down there. He told me, and I'm still trading it. He taught me Titan 1982. He taught me worship offering 1982. He taught me give it to the poor 1982. He taught me, you know, give it to parents. He taught me the various faces. And I kept trading them. The blessings of our parents on us makes us some. Um, you can't deal with us. Amen. <laughs> I can't live any one day short my, than my father. No. 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 The blessing is there. The blessing is there. So please understand this test. It will change your life forever. Let me come quickly to say this. Love it's a biblical, I mean, given is a biblical proof of love. Say with me, given. It's a biblical proof of love. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 8, talks about giving to prove the sincerity of our love. I speak not by commandment, but the occasion of the fullness of others, to prove the sincerity of your love. Giving is a biblical proof of the sincerity of our love. If you are not a giver, you are not a lover, forget it. If your neighbor is in need and you just pray over him and say be refreshed and you don't give him what he needs, how dwell the love of God in you? So you are not in love when you are not a giver. God's love is giving love. Can I hear your amen? amen. 
God's love is giving love. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. So God's love is giving love. If you are not a giver, you are not a lover. You may be a giver without being a lover, but you can't be a lover without being a giver. You can give to bribe your way to somebody's life. Amen. Somebody came to invite me one time for a meeting, and I said, sorry, I can't come. My schedule is tight. It's already booked. They now gave me a seat. I said, is it for me to come? That you are this? <laughs> if it is, take your seat because I'm not coming. He said, no, sir. I said, no, be sure you are sincere. <laughs> Somebody's naming a child, and then you give him a cow. Is the child going to eat a cow? No. You want contract from him, perhaps. <laughs> so the cow is not to prove that you love him. It's to get something out of him. And so you can give without loving, but you can't love without giving. And God's love is giving love. If you are not a giver, you are not a lover. Let me hear your amen. amen. Well, the good news is this. Somebody's love is changing permanently today. Yeah. Let me say this therefore. You never find any believer working in financial fortune who is not a tither. If you find one, I will tear my Bible. You never, because the windows of heaven will never be opened except to titles. And the windows of heaven is your access to realms of financial fortune. Prove me now. Malachi 3 verse 10, here with, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, I am pour you out a blessing until you have no, no, no room to receive it. So open heaven order of blessing is limited to titles. Limited to what? It's limited to titles. It's limited. There is, you can't bribe your way to God. You can only meet God on his own terms. Not on your own terms. Not on my own terms. You never come across any child of God, no matter how anointed. There are many anointed poor people. How many know that? They are very anointed, but they are very poor. At the same time. Anointing and uh, prosperity are not the same. They pray like that and the place is vibrating. And the sick is tumbling and rolling on the floor and getting healed. <laughs> but it's poor. There was a prophet who died in poverty in the scriptures and made his two sons collateral for his debt. The community bank came to come and collect the children. <laughs> I mean, so you can be a prophet and still be a pauper. You can still be a, you can be a prophet of God and be a pauper. Because the covenant is no respect of persons. You never come up. Look, you know why some pastors are poor and founders of churches? They think they're exempted from tithing. They exempted themselves from an open heaven. They are Mekisedek who collect tithe from others. I've not seen your tithe for some time now. <laughs> hey. They have sons in the ministry so they can collect tithe from them. But they don't give one dime. Can I share this with you before the heavens? I've not failed in my tithe once since 82. And I know where it began from and I know where it is now. But I won't tell you where it is. Amen. I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed loving God and obeying his instructions. I won't tell you where it is. There are people here today, I can tell you this, who will take this world and walk into the realm of trillions. Amen. There are, they have never seen the first 1,000, no, 100,000 yet, but they will receive this world wholeheartedly and walk into the realm of trillions. Amen. Somebody believe that, let me hear your loudest, amen. amen. Haggai chapter 1, verse 3 to 13. But the glory of this little house shall be greater than the former. Yes, sir. The silver is mine. I will release it to trusted channels. Trusted channels. Trusted channels. Yes, sir. Trusted channels. Trusted channels. The silver is mine and the gold is mine. I'm going to release to trusted channels. May you be counted among the trusted channels. Yes. For my kingdom through prosperity shall yet be what? Spread abroad. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 17. And before I return, this government of the kingdom shall be among all nations, and then shall the end come. Matthew 24, verse 14. 
So God is looking for trusted channels. May he find you. Amen. Lift up your right hand, everybody, and give God thanks. Glory to God. Give him thanks and glory and praise. None like our God, ever faithful, ever sure, the word has gone forth. Victory has come down. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Yeah. Amen. Now, quickly, as I will be willing to pray, I'll make another call because um, a good man liveth an inheritance for his children's children. God's prosperity plan is for his children. Can I hear your amen? amen. Would you call those early days of this ministry prosperity? Yeah! <laughs> you mean with your rickety was I give to? Oh, yes? Why? Pick these three lines, please. Life is a journey. Numbers 9, 15 to 23. Every time the cloud moved, they journeyed. Life is a journey. Numbers 9, 15 to 23. Two, destiny is in process. Destiny is in process. The path of the joy is a shining light that shines more and more and more. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. When he led them out of Egypt, taking them to the promised land, he didn't take them through the wilderness, although that was short, through the desert, although that was, where he took them round about Exodus 13, 17. It's a process. And finally, progress is in phases. Progress is what? In phases. He gave it to them little by little. Let the beast of the feet, over, you know, uh, outgrow them and overrun them, little by little. Exodus, I mean, Deuteronomy 7, 22, and then Exodus 23, verse 20. Life is a journey. Yes, sir. Where you are is not poverty. It's your wrong definition of it. <laughs> Just like every product goes through a process, so destiny is a process. You are not a failure, you are just on your way to God's ultimate agenda. Amen. And progress is in phases from 300 lack of cross ventilation store where this church began. We grew to open air, and then we grew to grass cathedral. God bless us so much. We had money to buy a roofing sheet against rain. We put it on it. We had some little money, so we floored the ground. And then we kept going. Progress is in faces. Those who despise the days of small things never see great days. So enjoy where you are. It's the gateway to where you are going. Come and give the Lord a big hand of praise. Jesus was born a baby, not a man. He grew to become a child and then became a son. And then a son with authority and now nice enthroned forever. That small business is gateway to a global platform. Amen. Enjoy. Start your titan from 10 naira profit. God, your one naira, to acknowledge the blessing that you sent to me. It grew to 20 naira. God, your, 20, your two naira, as my title of acknowledgement of your blessing. You, you grow. You just grow. You just grow. You just grow. Progress is in faces. No one here will give up. Now, you want to give your life to Christ this morning, it's very sweet on this side. 
wherever you are, Jesus, save my soul, forgive my sins, make me a child of God. Translate me from darkness to light. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet. You want me to pray with you to be born again this morning, become a child of God, please stand to your feet. It's your day of change. Today is your day of salvation. Please stand. God bless you and remain standing, please, wherever you are in this sanctuary. Online, anywhere in the world, you want to give your life to Christ this morning, please stand. God bless you. Now, quickly, number two, there are people here that need to rededicate their lives. There is a disconnect between you and your Heavenly Father. You know it yourself. The leaves are withering. You want to reconnect back to life. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet and pray with you at the same time. Jesus, I'm dedicating my life to you today. No more hit and run. I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay with you all the days of my life. I must make heaven at the end of my journey. Please stand to your feet. And God bless us to do. Now, anybody still free to stand as we want to pray right now. Everybody standing, both for the first and second call, please bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Stop feeling those cards for now. Lift your right hand to heaven. And pray this prayer after me from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again to justify me, to set me free from the power of sin and death. Today, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe I am now born again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the faith. By your grace, I shall serve you all the days of my life. By your grace, I shall make heaven at the end of my journey. By your grace, I shall live the overcomer's life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Keep your hands up as I pray. Father, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace has found them. Let the same grace preserve them. I cover every one of you with the blood of Jesus. Stay covered till the day of his appearing in Jesus' precious name. Congratulations. 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 Amen. The officials will give you a new converse pack. There's a slip on it. Please fill up that slip and pass it back to them before you are out of the service. And then they give you a little card, we love you card. You take that along with you at the end of this service through any of the major entrances, you find some tents there marked New Converse 10. Please branch off there, give them that card. They will give you some gift items from the church that will help in building you up in the faith and keep you going in Jesus' name. Fill these forms appropriately. We love to be a part of your joy we love to be a part of your spiritual growth, and we can only do that as we can get contact with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, please stand to your feet, everyone. Covenant people are never affected by prevailing economic conditions. There was farming in the days of Abraham, it never affected them. Farming in the days of Isaac, it prevailed. Farming in the day of Jacob, it was blossoming. Farming in the days of Joseph, he triumphed. Now, in the precious name of Jesus, lift up your two hands. The covenant stands that empowers believers to live above all economic circumstances, receive it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Prosperity has become our global identity as a commission. And because we're part of this flight, in the precious name of Jesus, I cause the root of all financial heartaches in your life. <laughs> For all covenant practitioners in this church, I decree your clear, open heaven. Amen. 
It shall not be short night nor day. Everyone will be surprised at your change of story. Today, maybe you have been harassed by some landlords. Tomorrow, you'll be giving out houses. You'll be housing the homeless. You'll be taking care of the needy. In the name of Jesus. Grace to keep enjoying where you are. Without money, without complaining, to qualify for your change of story, receive it right now. Grace to be thankful to God where you are. So it can change to your next level. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. As you step out of here, everything keeps changing in your favor. Your day of laughter is finally here. Sorrow and money has fled away from your life. For every challenged individual with indebtedness, I pray for heaven's favor to rewrite your story. Somebody was going to be picked up by AFCC on a Friday by Thursday night. God told somebody he never knew, he never told anything that God told me that you had a problem and that I should send you 10 million. And that just lifted the burden. I decree heaven's favor in your direction. Every time you yield your heart to obey God, it steps into change your story. For everyone who has received the word of life this morning and are committed to engage with it, I decree your supernatural change of story. And so shall it be. Your lineage will never know poverty again. In Jesus' name. In closing, please check out on our materials on prosperity, understanding financial prosperity, breaking financial hardship. Check them out. We have them online. We have them hard copies in bookstores. And get grounded, gain insight into these things as well as the Holy Ghost will help you. And it will be a change of story. I went through Kenneth Copeland to find this. And I found it. I knew when I found it. You have heard it. Many of us have found it right now. Many will find it deeper. As you go through those materials, lift up your two hands. The week is declared a blessed week. A week of zero concern. A week of testimony. Of breaking forth on every side, a week of new beginning in the name of Jesus. Only good news shall be coming your way, only good news shall be going forth from you. The Lord will crown this year with His goodness in your life. And all your parts will start showing the mighty works of God. In Jesus' precious name. So shall it be. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, 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 you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are God. Unquestionable, you are. Unquestionable, you are God. Unquestionable, God. Unquestionable, God. 
celebrate Unquestionable, you are God. No one can question your greatness. Hey, we celebrate your faithfulness. Unquestionable God. Unquestionable God. Unquestionable. Hey, unquestionable, you are Lord. Unquestionable, you are. Unquestionable, you are. We give you praise. Unquestionable God. Unquestionable God. Celebrate. Unquestionable, you are God. Hey. We serve an unquestionable God. Unquestionable, you are Lord. Unquestionable God. Unquestionable God. Unquestionable. Hey. Unquestionable, Jehovah Sham. Unquestionable, Jehovah Rapha. Unquestionable. Unquestionable God. No one can question your greatness. Unquestionable, you are God. Celebrate this unquestionable God day. He's worthy to be praised. Worthy to be worshipped. Give him all the praise. Hey, hey. Unquestionable, you are Lord. Unquestionable, you are. We give you all the glory. Unquestionable. Unquestionable, you are God. We cannot question your grace. Unquestionable, God. Yes. Hallelujah. You reign forevermore. Yes, you reign. Give him faith. We serve a reigning. Give the Lord a shout of Hosanna. Yes, you reign. Eternally, Jehovah, you reign, you reign. Almighty Father, you are a powerful God, Almighty God. We give you all the praise. You are worthy. You reign. Almighty Father, God, a powerful God. We serve a faithful God. Give him all the praise. Give him the thanks. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You reign. You reign. No. Forever more. Dio. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. Dio. For Rafa. We know you reign. We give you praise. Dio. For Dio. For. Yes. He reigns. Dio. For Sam Marens. Dio. For Rafa reigns. He reigns eternally. He reigns forever and ever. In that situation, he reigns. In that circumstances, he reigns. Give them the praise, he reigns. He reigns, 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 he He reigns. He No one cannot sit him. He reigns. He reigns. Almighty Father, you are. Oh, powerful God. Almighty God. Oh, powerful God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You reign. Hey, Almighty Father, you are. Oh, powerful God. Almighty God, all powerful God, you are worthy, you are worthy, you reign. Yes, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah reign, 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 reign. Jehovah reign supreme, he reigns eternally. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Give the Lord a shout. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, hallelujah. Call him by his name, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah. Call him by his name. Call him by his name. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Call him by his name. Jehovah, my 
supply. Hey, you are the meter of need. By his name, hey. Dio, 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 We call you Dio, but direct my supplier, the meter of needs. We give you praise, Dio, but direct my provider, Dio, but direct Dio, but call him by his name, call him, call him, call him, call him, call him. Hey, when we call him, he answer. When we call him, he hear. Dio, Dio, Dio. Hey, Dio, but I read you are. Dio, but I read. Hey, call him by his name. 